drop tiny little liquor stop I was a school, what's up, I'm good Feel like a broken Austin from Choke it Now I live a lie that I told him to Today is a big day for myself. I've been living in the UK for nine years and I've only now just got my invitation to become a citizen. So that's what the motive is today. We're on our way to go to St. Austell to become a UK citizen. We're just gonna go and film it, see what happens. And if you guys enjoy whatever happens, then you guys enjoy it. It is formal dress is all I have. So I had to wear the, the little collared tee with the jumper underneath. And that's as formal as you're gonna get with the skater boy dunks. What are you saying, Shane? I'm hungry. <laughs> She's hungry. We made it at the St. Austell Council thing place. Pretty much what they're gonna do is they're gonna get me in there and they're gonna make me recite some bollocks that I have to say to the king to like pledge my, my loyalty, allegiance to the king, which is gonna be interesting. I don't know if I was supposed to recite words. I do remember something saying that I had to like maybe recite something, which I fully haven't done. So they're gonna have to tell me. Hopefully we can crack a few jokes while we're at it. You know what I mean? <laughs> we'll try and make it funny. But also I might shit myself and be scared when they start speaking to me. He knows. We'll see what happens. You know what I mean, China? You know what I mean, dude? I'm so hungry. I haven't got food yet. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. Boy, we're gonna have a fat munch after this. Drink Look, yeah, straight to benefits. I'm gonna hop on that. I did want to do a skit this morning where I was speaking in South African accent, but like fully South African. And then once I started pledging my allegiance, so fully British. Look at this distinguished gentleman. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that didn't happen, so yeah, yeah. Bush. And we move it. There's no better way to do the ceremony than in the rain. This is what makes you a UK citizen. Filming your YouTube video in the pissing rain by the Carlion house. You know what I mean? Look at that thing. Is that where everyone's going? Oh, it says no entry. Yeah, maybe. Let's go that way. Yo, bro, everyone's wearing suits and ties and shit. Nothing in a puffer jacket. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's this one, yeah. Yo, it's quite a lot of people, yo. Yeah. I'm fucking nervous, Doc. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Hello. I'm here for my ceremony. Yeah. What name is it, please? Duncan. You want your name, Bradshaw? Perfect. You can wear that. It's very welcome to go through into the ceremony room now and take a seat anywhere. And you're welcome to take some. Oh, perfect. Around. Lovely. Thank you very much. So I'm just going to skim through what happened because some of it was quite boring for me anyway. So it's probably gonna be boring for you guys as well. So at the start, they have everyone set at their designated seating area. I was number six, but I had a hard time finding my seat. Number six, you see a number six in there? So, thank you. It turned out to be literally right in front of me. Once I had everyone sat down, we had to rise again for the high chairman of Cornwall as they walked in to one of the hardest ring walk songs I ever done heard in my life. They then went on to speak about the history and the politics of Cornwall, which seemed to go on for what seemed like a f***ing eternity. So I've done you the pleasure of fast forwarding that bit. They then got us to either swear an oath or affirm an oath. I affirmed an oath because if I swore an oath, I probably would have been damned to hell for breaking all the rules immediately because I'm a real bad man, you're me. They got us to stay I and then our full name. So we all went around doing exactly that. Hi, Adriana. Hi, Adriana. Hi, Anton. Hi, Anton. Hi, Felicia. Hi, Duncan. Hi, Duncan. Pond. Then we had to repeat the words said by the lady all together as one. I do solemnly, sincerely. I do solemnly, sincerely. And true. Poor Felicia here started messing up the rhythm of it all, which started making me mess my rhythm up a little bit. And truly and declare and, and affirm. affirm. But luckily, because I'm a rapper, or used to be a rapper, I managed to catch the beat and get back on track. At this point here, I'm pretty sure it was just the people on the right who were supposed to be repeating. But Felicia started repeating the words, which then made me think, oh shit, I need to repeat the words. So I started repeating the words. And then I realized we weren't supposed to repeat the words. So I just kind of started whispering. <laughs> I swear by Almighty God. I swear by Almighty God. I would, I would be faithful, faithful and bear true allegiance. By the end of it all, I ended up swearing and affirming allegiance to His Majesty, the King. So like, does that mean I get dual citizenship? Like, do I get another fucking certificate? What's going on here? Give me that double citizenship, babe. It was only at this point where we then all were supposed to repeat together as one in unity. We would all repeat after you together. I will give my loyalty. I will give my loyalty. 
to the United the Kingdom. At this point, we were finished and I was super excited, so I whispered to Felicia. We did it. By the end of it all, me and Felicia became homies because she was South African as well, and me and her had little bonding chats over South Africa. After we affirmed and swore our oaths, there was more yapping about politics and all that kind of stuff. So I'll just skip ahead for you guys. They then invited everyone up one by one to receive their certificate and a little pin pendant made from tin as a little gift for becoming citizens. So as everyone was making their way up to receive their little certificate and gift, I was just waiting for my turn, anxiously excited. Finally, my name was mentioned and it was time for me to receive my piece of paper that legally states my status as a British citizen. Every single little decision in my life, good or bad, big or small, every bit of money that I spent, which can I just say is a fucking piss take. What in the actual fuck is wrong with the government to make me pay over 10 grand to get a piece of paper that legally states my right as a fucking UK citizen? I think it's a bit of a joke. But anyway, like I was saying, every single little decision that I made in my life has brought me to this moment right here. This is my time. I finally made it. I couldn't actually believe it was happening and honestly, I'm just keen to get my passport so I can move to Australia. Right, thank you very much. He'll meant a citizen, cut. Bring it here. Yo, when you were singing the anthem, I was trying not to laugh. It's very awful. What are you? Alright. What do I look like? Come on. Citizen. <laughs> you made it, did you? Man's a citizen. It's got the cake to prove it. <laughs> Do some bullshit. Watch the police come. <laughs> give, me, give me that certificate back. <laughs> so at the ceremony, they gave us these little Cornish tin pendants, which are pretty cool. And Shane had the bright idea of putting it in my ear. So, oh, do you hear that? Made noise. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> that thing goes hard, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> That's sick as fuck. <laughs> cool. Nice.